Okay, so my saviour, the question is, we're talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, Christians want Jesus dead for their salvation. Okay? However, the disciples of Jesus were helpless when they wanted to protect Jesus. Jesus told them to go and buy swords. And those swords were brought and they sold all their purses. They basically... Um, defended Jesus against the Romans and one of those swords chopped the Roman soldier's ear off and Je Jesus found out that he was defenseless and they were outnumbered so Jesus basically said put down your swords those who fight by the sword die by the sword so they gave up but the initial thing was this Jesus told them to buy swords to save him from the crucifixion so my Savior died for me. My question to you is this. Since you Christians keep claiming that Jesus died for your sin and you love this crucifixion and death of Jesus, my question to you is this. It's very simple. If you had the weaponry, the military capability, and if you could go back in time, would you save Jesus from the hands of the Jews? The question is to you. Microphone free. I would indeed go and stop those people from um, trying to uh, kill Jesus. I would have done the exact same thing Peter did and uh, cut off the guy's ear. Um, now yes, it would be sinful for me in doing so because Jesus predicted that he would die so many times. but. The reason why I would fight for Jesus and stop him from being killed is because, one, I don't deserve Christ's forgiveness. Christ forgives me because of his grace. Grace, as you know, is something that we got that we don't deserve. And forgiveness is what grace is. You know how you say that God is most gracious, most merciful? Well, what does most gracious mean? Most gracious means he gives us things that we do not deserve. And what God gives us is forgiveness. And uh, I, I want to, and I, since Christ uh, didn't do anything to deserve that death, I'm going to fight for him because he's my friend and he shouldn't have to die for me. Uh, Mike is free. But, but, but my Savior, but... Isn't the whole Christian theology that Jesus has to die for you? Why are you saying you don't want Jesus dead now? Why do you want to save him? I mean, didn't he come for that sole purpose to die for your sin? My Savior? Why do you want to save Jesus now? My Savior. But Jesus came to die for your sin. So you're saying that if you did have the capability, you would save Jesus? You <laughs> You would save Jesus? Yes? But didn't Jesus want to die for your sin and the crucifixion? Then you have no salvation. Throw you in hell? Wow. My Savior, take the mic please. Explain to us. The whole purpose of Jesus has changed now? So you would save him from the cross. But if you save him, that means Jesus won't be able to fulfill his crucifixion. He came to die for your sin. Amazing, isn't it now? Amazing, brothers and sisters, that he will go back in time to save Jesus. At my Savior, comment on this. Take the mic. The love of somebody to give their life up for another is the most uh, wonderful thing somebody can do for somebody. But let's say um, somebody jumps in front of a car to save your life, but they die instead. You would want to go back in time and say, "Please, you know, you know that was a wonderful thing, but you don't need to, you know, you don't deserve to do that." You know, I was the one who stupidly crossed the street without looking. 
you know, now, now Jesus, because the Father sent him to die for us, you know, Jesus didn't want to. He said, take this cup from me. Did he not say, take this cup from me, um, if it's not your will? Um, because Jesus didn't want to die on the cross, you know. Um, Jesus was going through all that because the Father told him to, you know. But so, so when Jesus said, God, can I please not die on the cross? God says, no, you're going to die on the cross. And, and so Jesus went away sad because he knew he was going to die on the cross. So I would go back and I would fight for Jesus, and I would stop them from crucifying Jesus. And I would say, Jesus, you can rule and reign, and when my turn's dead, you can throw me in the pit of hell because I deserve the pit of hell for not being holy. Uh, my history. So Christian wants, so the Christian wants Jesus saved from the cross. Allahu Akbar, everyone. Allahu Akbar. A Christian wants Jesus saved from the hands of the Jews so he doesn't get crucified. Allahu, everyone give Allahu Akbar. Everyone give Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Look at this. Even a Christian has admitted that he wants Jesus saved from the cross. How do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feels? How do you think Allah Almighty feels? You think Allah doesn't want to save his servant from the cross and the crucifixion and from the filthy hands of the Jews? My Savior, thank you for being honest and thank you for being a true Christian for admitting that if you were given the capability you would go and rescue Jesus from the cross thank you very much my savior thank you very much that's exactly our point. Brother Muslim,